Heather and Joseph are checking out a new attraction. Let everyone know where you guys are right now. We sure are. We are Journey to Space, and we have our new friend here, Gaya. She's from the Science Museum of Minnesota. They partnered up with NASA to bring us this really cool new exhibit over in the North End. I was just going to say we're in space. Yeah. That was my <laughs> intro, so she nailed it. Now, Gaya, tell us all about this. Tell us about this exhibit. This is an exhibit called Journey to Space. It's all about getting to space and what it's like, what it would be like to live in space. So, so you have space uh, uniforms here. I mean, you have all kinds of space yep. suits. This space suit is to simulate gravity because when an astronaut is in space, they don't have any gravity. So their spines expand, their bones and their mm -hmm. joints start to slip apart. So this thing behind us is a compression suit that would hold them all back together and uh, hopefully keep their bone density and their muscles stronger if for a long-term run in space. A lot of science in here, a lot of fun things. How many exhibits are actually in right. this building right now? What? I mean, this is all one exhibit, but yeah. how many pieces of it? Yeah. Oh, at least two dozen. Yeah. There's a lot of cool things there's in here. I mean, all over. Here, there's all yep. these um, uh, space, as we mentioned. Information about the sun. Over here. But, Gaia, this seems to be right behind us, this thing that's twirling around the big attraction. This is where the lines are. What is this thing? That is the Destiny Lab. It's a two-scale model of the Destiny Lab, which is the U.S.'s science lab on the International Space Station. So this module is where all of the U.S. The US does all of their science. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so AJ asked earlier what I wouldn't want to do for the remainder of the fair. That is it, because you say that people could get vertigo in there and get really dizzy, right? Yeah, the way it spins around you, it creates this really weird sense of like vertigo, which is supposed to kind of simulate what free fall does to your ears. We do say if you go in there and you start to get vertigo, close your eyes, it'll go away. Open your eyes again, <laughs> it'll come back. <laughs> but for space lovers, that's a really cool thing it to is, do, because yeah. there's videos of what the actual astronauts do while they're in the lab like that. Yeah, and there's... There's, you know, there's fans that turn on, there's lights that turn off and on. That's a demonstration of the Canada arm, which is a really big part of um, the ISS and, the, and stuff that has happened on it. So there's all sorts of different pieces of that that happen. It's about a three and a half minute experience. Okay, fantastic. Well, we know there's big lines for this here. Gaya, thank you so much. And this is such a great collaboration between NASA and the Science Museum. We'll, we'll let you go because I know you are busy. She's very busy She's answering here. a lot of questions. Yeah, she, a lot of questions. She, she came right up to us at the very end and said, okay, this is our, <laughs> this is our deal. Um, so, <laughs> but this is so cool, AJ. It's all the way over at the north end. So Joseph and I, we came in at the Como entrance. Oh. So we took the long trek <laughs> yeah. up here. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. we did. Uh, well worth way. it, though. If you love space, this is something, yeah, this you is, this is something you're going to love. And you see, like, the space stu suits. Like, this is great for kids, yeah. adults. Like, I'm learning information, looking at a lot of this stuff. I mean, it's really neat. Right. That is one of the great things that I love about the fair. Like, it's not just agriculture. Culture. It's not just rides. It's not just food. There's something for everyone at the fair. And look, we all want the weather to cooperate. We're all hoping for that nice day. Knock on wood when we go to the fair. We know last year that was not necessarily the case because uh, not only was there wind damage, we also saw some heavy rain too. You guys remember this. Joseph, you and I were actually out there when they're actually removing the cruise. That was the first time, August 27th, I wrote it down, yeah. the fair opened late yeah. for the first time in fair history. We couldn't believe it. Do you guys remember that? Oh my gosh, yes, yes they yeah, did. Yeah, we were going from side to side. I mean, the crew was cleaning stuff up. AJ helped pick up one of the game stands yeah. with all of like the like animals. and It was crazy. It was crazy. Yeah. The wettest 12 day fair. Yeah. That was back in 1977. Okay. Do you know how much rain fell then? Any, any guesses? this one i heard this and i, I was shocked Adam's package, i was yeah. shocked to believe it what did they say nine inches nine I mean, inches you're talking about almost an not almost yeah. an inch of rain every day yeah mm. yeah that's flooding that's a lot of big rain. time flooding problems yeah well thankfully we don't have to worry about that but like we oh, so we know like the wcco booth we've got ponchos we've got everything that people may need uh the yeah. hottest day at the fair do you know what the hottest temperature at the fair was I don't know, but I feel like I was here that day um, because <laughs> I, I'm hot. pretty sure my son was really small. I think he was probably about, I don't know, three or four years old. I'm yeah. pretty sure we both got heat stroke oh, that yeah. day. Mm. Uh, we came home. We were sweating hours later. Yeah. Um, Triple digits. So I would, that would have been 2012, 2013. Mm. No, that's not the correct answer. We were looking for 1931. Oh. That's when the fair hit 
104 Ooh. degrees. Not the heat in the sea, the actual oh, temperature. No, Can thank you. 104 degrees. Yeah, oh. no, thank you. Yeah, and I'm thank, sure yeah. there are a lot of people still here doing all the things because everyone loves it. Oh, my yeah, gosh. Can you imagine if it was 104 out? Can you imagine what it was in the corn oh, roast booth? Oh, it had yeah. to be 150. Goodness yeah. gracious. By the way, I, Joe, so I did not know yeah. this that the fair, I should have known this, the fair actually works with the National Weather Service because they say announcements will be made across mm. the fairgrounds. So if people do, in fact, need right. to take shelter, mm. people need to know uh, where to take shelter because they've actually got lightning icons on the map, mm. right? Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, last year we had to like throw that out yeah. to social media because yeah, we had the sure storms did. last year that were, you know, the ones before we had to do all the cleanup the next day. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, very, very helpful. Uh, thankfully, you have us too internally. We right. know yeah. when the showers and storms are coming through, but they, yeah, working yeah. with the National Weather Service. And I remember, AJ, and I don't know if this was the year before you came, yeah. but we had, during one of the concerts, the flooding that night oh, because the wow. rain came down that's so, right. so hard mm -hmm. that time.